Oh god, Mimic is here. Oh my god. Oh, actually, it's just the beta, but it's still amazing. Uh, the beta firmware for the Movie Controller was released yesterday, May 18th, 2015, and the Mimic standalone unit is now being shipped as well. Uh, the standalone unit is essentially an accelerometer with a transceiver attached to it. You still need a monitor, an HD transmitter, and a battery to power it all. Um, but the, since we use the controller, it's just the perfect solution for us. It is the most intuitive and easy way to control the gimbal ever. I cannot stress how amazing this thing is to use. The response is slightly delayed, but I mean, it's actually really minimal. In fact, the HD transmitter we use, which is the Paralynx Aero Plus, has more of a delay than the actual Mimic itself. Freeing up the joystick hand really, really lets you focus on things like focus if you want to. Now, you don't necessarily have to, but the fact is, is that the controller has a lot of options available to it. You can use focus, um, you can change the iris, you can run stop, you can do so many things that I'm not sure what the Mimic standalone unit will have with it, but um, the controller is just so versatile. Plus, you can also change the various Moby modes, things like Majestic Mode, Dual Operator, and even change the parameters on the fly. All in all, the controller seems like the way to go for me, but I think the standalone unit, uh, Mimic standalone unit will also be quite powerful. The Mimic is just incredibly easy. I, I can't really think of any other word other than easy and, or intuitive to describe how to actually use it. You just kind of point the monitor in the direction that you want to look and then that's it. Uh, you can also initiate the roll axis so if you want to have that kind of flying through the air feeling you can allow the roll axis to be active as well. Uh, right here I have it set to a 1 to 2 ratio so the Movi is executing half of the amount of roll that I'm actually doing with the controller itself. All of the settings, pan, tilt, roll, can be adjusted in that same method. So the amount that you want the gimbal to execute can be described through the controller. Any kind of like a, a, it's a random scale that they have, just zero to, I don't know, I don't know what the max is. But uh, man, it's so easy to use. It, it's a lot of fun. At the moment, I have nothing but positive things to say. I have not tested it in the field yet. We literally just installed the firmware right now. But, uh, yeah, so far, it's, it seems like it's going to be a really powerful asset in those times that you don't want to shoot Majestic mode. Um, but, uh, yeah, I recommend coming in, having a look. Of course, it's going to come with all of our Movi rentals, along with the billion other accessories that we offer. So check it out at 2dhouse.com.